What's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. I know, you guys see the stacks of cards behind me, and yet it's a PSA reveal. If you've been, haven't seen any of the videos, it's because this is all going on whatnot. And believe it or not, you'll see that fifth stack there. There's a sixth one back behind that yet. So, real quick before I get into PSA reveal, if you don't want to hear it, just skip about a minute. Um, basketball, tonight, 7 p.m. on whatnot. You guys can pre-bid on this stuff. It's already loaded. You got the pictures, just how I like doing this stuff. Some of this stuff starts at a dollar. Some starts at where I need to be at on the card. Even It might be like 50% or something of uh, uh, value or somewhere around there, too. All right. Then we got Sunday, 1 p.m. hockey. I'm starting to pick up some momentum uh, from people who are into hockey. We're giving it a shot. It's all patches, all autos for hockey. So we'll see how that does. If it does well, we'll do another hockey. I got plenty here on it. That'll be Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern. Next Friday, baseball. We're back at it. Uh, I think there's like 40-some cards in there. Some cool, sneaky stuff. A Conseco Molitor Dual Auto is in there. Um, Gary Sheffield Auto. I know. I'm trying to remember. I think there's a DeGrom Relic. There's a ton of stuff in there. 40-some pieces that day going off as well. So, if you don't have Discord, you can always click one of the links in the description. It'll give you $15 off, like credit towards your first purchase. And if you are part of it, it gives a link just to, you know, do the little bookmark thing onto it. All right, PSA time, PSA time. This was really quick. Really quick to come back. It was not the 90 business days. I, I, I'm guessing under 30, to be honest, without looking. Uh, most of the stuff I picked up on whatnot minus one card. I will say this much. If you guys are grading Spectra, play it on eights. It's always been the norm. Nines is good. Tens is like, wow, holy crap, you got a ten on it type deal. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. So starting off, Desmond Ritter, picked this up cheap on whatnot, graded it, you know, I think this was a 20, yeah, $25 level. So pretty much I'd get what it's selling at, maybe a little bit more off of it. But it's one of those things I'm going to hold on to for a little bit and see what happens with him next year. He didn't throw no interceptions at all in the final few games he played while well, started this year. And he did really well. He might have some hope in Atlanta. We'll see how it turns out. So I took a little risk into some Ritters. I'd rather buy Ritter than having to buy... Purdy, who's now injured with big money. This stuff here is like, to me, low risk, high reward. All right, from 2021 Spectra, I picked this up on whatnot as well. I kind of figured being Spectra, it's going to be an 8. It was an 8. Joe Montana, rookie out of 10. This is the champion uh, signatures, which is one of the big insert, insert sets I like. It's numbered 1 out of 10. That's the Celestial. So really cool piece to add to my display. It shows or whenever I do go to sell it. But really nice piece. Um, I know I picked it up relatively cheap with the grading. And it's one of those other things. If it would have graded a 9, I'd have made some decent money. It grades an 8. You know, I make a couple dollars off it with a little discount of what they go for. So, again, it was just one of those low-risk things. I'd rather get it slabbed than having to sit there and have people take it out of the case putting their hands onto it, fingerprints, maybe have a fingernail mark on it or whatever, they drop it. Just one of those things I'm kind of crazy on to. All right, up next, whatnot pickup. I don't believe this guy sells anymore because I haven't seen him on in weeks. Tyrese Halliburton, Revolution Rookie. This is the Fractal, numbered out of 100. Came back a 9. I'm in Halliburton country, so I figured, what the heck, let's grab it. You know, what I paid for this was probably like 50% of what they were selling for on eBay. Getting a 9 gives me a little more boost onto it. But being out of 100, it's a definitely a mover out here to where I could sell it, look for something else. As you guys know, mostly what I'll do is I'll sell a whole bunch of stuff. I'll take X amount of my profit, depending on what it is, and I'll buy something PC. Because you got to keep moving with this stuff. All right. This here was an eBay pickup, no kidding. I mean, I looked this card over with a magnifier on eBay, making sure there was no whiting. When I got in the mail, this was a while ago, I paid 40 bucks for this with shipping. I was like, you know, if this kid does well and this tends, it's something you, you know I can make money on. Worst case scenario was I seen something wrong with the surface onto it and, you know, 
Well, I'd have just probably ate it up as a loss on to it. But I'm really happy. Came back a 10. 10 on a Ritter Mosaic Auto. So that this really pushed this card up to, you know, really make some money down the road, hopefully towards football season. Last one, same guy. I don't see him on whatnot. Picked this up. It was still encased by Panini because it was a redemption. So I knew I had a chance at a good 9 or 10 on it. Picked this up like for 50 or 60% of what the last one sold for. But Jalen Waddell, rookie endorsements, numbered out of 125, came back at PSA 10. So, you know, with that there, it's another nice piece to have at the show. It's flashy looking. It's not very expensive for somebody to get into and take a lot of risk on. Because recently I've been noticing a lot of people just don't want to invest big money and take risks. Um, they've been, you know, stuff at, you know, 50 to $200 range they're comfortable with. You know, making them big sales, the three, four, five, ten thousand. 10000 You know, there's people out there take them. Don't get me wrong, but there's a lot less now that take that risk too out there. I mean, unless you're at the National or Dallas or something, you'll see more of that. But at the smaller shows I go to, they're like 50 to 100 tables. There's Usually when you start seeing $1,000 deals, it's because there's three or four or five cards into it. But really happy with PSA stuff. They popped it on out pretty quick for me. Um, got what I pretty much thought across the board. I was kind of hoping Halliburton 10, but I knew it was probably going to be a 9 on to it. Got another order. I've already seen the grades on to it. It should be shipping out hopefully either Friday or Monday because they are definitely, definitely behind on shipping two, three business days at least. So in that one there, there'll be some nice pickups that I picked up from the Louisville show I know offhand and a couple whatnots, but um, pretty good overall on that one too. Really, really happy. You guys will see that here when it comes in. Burnett, guys. Um, I'll be on whatnot and shipping all weekend. I'm going to try to get out to Lexington's card show on Saturday for a video and see, maybe I can find some sneaky pickups to throw in to be graded as well. Uh, sorry, there's been no overtime. I've been, since I've been doing whatnot, well, go well, sick. And then, well, I'll be rephrase that surgery, sick, and then doing whatnots, trying to move that big bulk order I picked up. I've been, uh, Trying to figure out a way around to reschedule overtime. I think what we're going to do is either it's going to be a Saturday night overtime at like 9.30, 10 p.m. Eastern. That way, if I have a show or something, get comfortable onto it. If I would happen to miss that week, I think we're going to do like a pre-recorded premiere type deal onto it. Yeah, third scenario is we would just do it on like a Wednesday night or Monday night since there's no longer football. So we will get back to the overtime for lives, of course. Um, be on the lookout for some videos for giveaways coming up too. I have those planned out as well. Other than that, y'all take care of a good, safe weekend out there. If you got hit by that blizzard, hopefully you're warm and you weren't one of the people who got affected by the power outages from that ice storm. All right, guys, I am out. Catch you next one.